Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this kind of software simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using this Blender 3.6.5, nice. So first of all, let me demonstrate this soft body simulation on this low poly object, which is our default cube. So select the camera and select the light, let's delete them. Now select the cube and let's place this just above to the ground here. Let's add some subdivisions onto this. So press tab key or else you can change this to edit mode. Right click subdivide. So I think this much faces are enough. So let's get back here. Let's add subdivision modifier. So let's add subdivision surface and viewport level. Let's increase this to two and let's apply this. Okay. So now being selected our cube, come to this physics property, add soft body. So now if I play this, you can see it will be oscillating there only. That is because of this goal option. So uncheck this goal option. And now if I play this, it will be falling down to infinity. Now let's add an obstacle plane. So go to this add mesh selector plane here, increase the scaling. Now let's play this once again. So still it passes through the plane because we haven't set any collision property onto the plane. So select the plane, come to this physics property once again and add collision. So now if I play this, you can see the cube is definitely colliding with the plane, but it is getting crushed down. So select the cube. Here you can see this self collision option, right? Just enable this one. And now let's play this once again. So now this, you can see the faces are not passing through other faces of the cube so after enabling this self collision this is a bit better now let's make it look further better so for that let's expand this edges option so here you can see this pull and push right i will increase this to 0.9 and 0.9 and let's see this once again so if i play this once again let's see whether there will be any difference or not so here you can see the viewport display is getting laggy it is playing at 4 fps so i will stop it here so here you can see if i play this once again this is not looking that much good after adding this push and pull value also so let's increase this bending value to i think 5 and let's play this once again so now if i play this you can see it definitely looking better so if you want to still increase the bending value or make this bit stiff, we can increase the bending value here. So if I increase this to further 10, it will be stiff. So let's play this one second. Or else you can see the preview is getting laggy, right? So let's, what we can do, let's catch this one. Let's make the simulation. So here I will set the end frame simulation to 150 frames and the timeline also 150 frames. And let's make the simulation. Let's bake it. So here the bake is done and if I play this now, we can see we got this kind of simulation here, nice. So let's delete the bake here once again and here let's do some changes. So if I come to this object option here, you can increase the friction value and the mass of the object you can add. So let me change this to 10 kg, okay. Here in simulation, you can set the speed, whether you want this to be slow falling or you want the simulation to be fast, you can increase the value here to whichever you like. So I will give, leave this to default only. And in the edges options, you can see this plasticity, right? Let's see what will happen if I increase the plasticity value. So if I change this to five, and let me rotate this cube here a bit, and let's bake this once again. So this will take time. So here the bake is done, and now if I play this, you can see after adding this plasticity value, it is crumbling down. So this will not retain its own position if you increase the plasticity value. So you can reduce this to zero. So now let's add the same properties onto a skull model. So let's select this, let's delete the bake first and let's delete the spear, sorry cube. So here I will be using this blender kit to download the model. So I will be searching as a human skull and so here we got the model set. So I will be using this model, just click here. It will be loaded and right click, select the objects. Let's increase the scaling and let's place the skull model just above to the plane. So first of all, let's see the mesh count here. So if I move on to this wireframe mode, this is pretty dense, which makes my system to shut down for sure. So let's reduce the mesh count. So come to this modifier options. 
it got some subdivision modifier i will delete that one and let's add a smith modifier and it got one lakh faces so i will reduce this to 0 0.05 so that i will get only 5000 faces and let's apply this and let's right click and shade smooth okay so now let's add physics property onto this skull model so come to this physics property add soft body and like before it will be oscillating so let's uncheck this goal option and edges i will increase this to point nine. so here i can't preview this one this will be taking much time this will be much laggy when compared to using the default cube so bending i will change this to 10 i will enable this self collision option also so once this is done i will change the simulation to 200 frames and i will just click on this bake button so here i stopped the bake in between so i got only 93 frames in memory so let's see this so if i play this you can see the skull is looking good with this soft body simulation nice so here i forgot to mention one thing so let me delete the bake and let me delete the skull also let's add a usp here so go to this mesh usp here and reduce the scaling let's add soft body and let's take the goal option let's increase the pull to 0.9 push to 0.9 and bending to 10 and let's enable self collision okay Let's bake the simulation once again. So if I play this, you can see we got the bouncing ball, right? Suppose if I want to add multiple objects like and the spear in the scene. So if I duplicate the spear and if I bake this once again, let's see whether these two objects will collide with one another or not. So let's see this. You can see the both spears are not colliding with each other. So in this case, we need to add collision property for both the objects. So let's delete the bake, add collision property so come to this physics property where is this add this collision property and for this pair also add collision property and let's break this once again so if i play this now you can see both objects are colliding with each other so if you are using multiple objects make sure to add collision property on each and every object okay so this is a bit time consuming when compared to rigid body physics, soft body physics is a bit time consuming but the output will be satisfying to watch. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we will meet in the next video. Until then signing off. Take care. Bye.